Protect our vote. Protect your vote if you haven't voted. Get ready to go. It's just about time. Because it's time for regime change in America, right? Last expanse of ancient wilderness where the last of countless species can exist, but the earth can be mined and the trees can be sold with your fingers. The living land turns to gold. Hey, rich king Midas, what you gonna turn to gold? Hey, rich king Midas, what you gonna turn to gold? There's money to be made with workers overseas, where unions are not allowed and work protections are weak. And there's razor wire around the factory Put your finger to a living child Turn to gold Put your finger to a living child Turn to gold Put your finger to a living child Turn to gold Creativity. We need people power. We need we need meeting of the minds. We need collaboration to to organize in the next ten days before this election. Two p.m. tomorrow. Trump pants out now.
the land rights of Native Americans. He assaults all of those things, but as an educator, the assault that has been on my mind is the assault on history, on the people's history. As a teacher, I have the responsibility to call a genocide a genocide. I have the responsibility to point out the role of workers and women and immigrants in changing this system. And Donald Trump, with his new initiative around patriotic, uh, pa patriotic education is not just an assault on truth, it's a history that is built on bones and blood and bloodshed and will only result more because when people are disconnected from the true people's history of this country, they are disconnected from the possibilities of making a better future. So I 100% believe that we need to push Trump and Pence out, but we also need to build a movement because we can get both of them out. We can empty out the White House and we're still gonna have the, Dem the Democratic Party to worry about. We're still going to have an emboldened, a far right, a murderous far right that, was, that has killed in the streets and will do so again. But what we have is solidarity. From California to New York Island, crossing them season of city spawns factories. My people are rising, my people are rising, my people are rising up. My people are rising, my people are rising, my people are rising up. Can't beat them down, chill and gas them, without a night of righteous passion to turn the power around. Every vote. Every voter counts. Count all the votes. Every voter counts. Okay, another is voter counts. Okay, so beyond that is providing direct action support for the counting process. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. Trump Pence out now. Trump Pence out now. Are you ready to fight? Damn right. Are you ready to fight? 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 Are to be passionate and, and make our voices heard. We only have 10 days left to this election, and if it's stolen, we need to be prepared. So please join us tomorrow and in the next coming days. Um, SF Refuse Fascism 2020 is our Instagram. We have Twitter and Facebook also. Please, please join our movement and, and march for democracy.
But we know we have responsibility. We have to protect the vote. We need to make sure every vote is counted. Count every vote. Count every vote. Count every vote. Count every vote. How are we going to make sure that happens? This is just to see. This is just the kernel to get us started, right? So we're going to be that little piece of sand in the oyster that's going to make a pearl, right? We're going to accrete a lot more people as the days go by because we know that this regime is going to do anything, anything to stay in power and to stay out of jail. Trump refuses to leave office when he's supposed to if they put up all kinds of confusion, if our legislators seem like they're losing their nerve, if the legislators and the vote counters seem like they're losing their nerve and about to give in to Trump, what we need to do is take the streets again, nonviolently, and I encourage us all now to be forming affinity groups and thinking about what can we do that doesn't involve large masses of people that are an easy target for terrorism. Small groups of people doing creative actions in concert can accomplish a lot and be much less vulnerable to repression. I'm grateful to the organizers who organize us today. It's important that we're all out here and we all, as the previous speaker said, we do need a united front of all the people on the left to fight together to prevent any refusal to leave office by by Trump. Uh, in, in our party, we actually don't have any trust in Trump, nor in Biden. It, you know, we know if the Democrats win too, it's still gonna need us all in the United Front in the struggles in the street because, as an example, we live in California, run by the Democrats. If that's any model for what we're gonna have, we know we see people still kept in prison that should be let out, and they're dying of COVID. The Democrats are really no better than the Republicans. That's right. That's so right. we don't endorse a vote for either Biden or Trump. I know some of you support Biden, but in spite of that, we can all work together because we all agree that the election should not be stolen and that we need to maintain our right to protest and to vote and that all our votes count. Thank you very much. Woo! Yes, we all need to come out here in solidarity together. All these small movements, all these small factions, make a bigger movement and all of us need to stay in the street and disorient and and and, and you know disrupt this whole system in order to get our voices heard and make sure people know it was a march because we have to march because trump represents an, an existential threat to the humanity because of his rejection of science his white supremacy because he's dividing people in a very ugly way this country has always been a racist country, always been a white supremacist country, but now Trump is using that to create great, greater divisions of potential violence between sections of the people. And he's doing that in the interest of a system that is a, a moribund, a dying system. And it's very dangerous. We need to stand up. Uh, he's undermining democratic rights, and he's undermining even the electoral system. And we can't allow that to happen. That's crossing a line that would be way too dangerous for us to accept. And that's why we need to be in the streets in growing numbers. And if he ever, if he makes a move against the election, we have to bring, we have to go into the streets in our millions. We need to shut this country down. We really need to. This is not a joke. This is a super important situation that we're facing. One. It's incredibly important that everybody get out there and vote in this election. We've seen abuses like never before in our government institutions, and it's up to each and every one of us to fight back to make sure that we're protecting our democracy. That's why we're out here today. We'll see you at the polls.